The great summits of the world. The Guiana Highlands are said to be the last unexplored area on Earth. Enormous flat top mountains rise up on sheer cliffs. This spectacular landscape was created over hundreds of millions of years. In this episode, we'll explore one of nature's most magnificent creations, tabletop mountains. The Guiana Highlands of South America are made up of more than 100 tabletop mountains, immense plateaus encircled on all sides by gigantic cliffs. In the language of its indigenous people, Guiana means land of many waters. This region's rainfall averages more than 4,000 millimeters a year. Since tabletop mountains cannot hold rainwater, it flows into numerous rivers that rise in the highlands. It then cascades over the cliffs as awe-inspiring waterfalls. Among these is Angel Falls, the world's highest waterfall, with a drop of 979 meters. The water pours out from one of the largest tabletop mountains in the Guiana Highlands, Aoyantepui. In the 16th century, English explorer Sir Walter Raleigh led an expedition to the Guiana Highlands. At the time, European kingdoms were avidly sending explorers to South America in search of gold. After Raleigh returned to England, he published a report about his voyage called The Discovery of Guiana. Raleigh wrote, it appeared like a white church tower of an exceeding height. There falls over it a mighty river which rushes over the top and falls to the ground with so terrible a noise and clamor as if a thousand great bells were knocking one against another. I think there is not in the world so strange an overfall, nor so wonderful to behold. Thanks to his report, the world learned about the unique topography of the Guiana Highlands, created over the course of hundreds of millions of years. When all the land on the earth was a single large continent, there were many lakes where Guiana is today. On the bottom of the lakes were deposits of sand. Two hundred million years ago, hot outpourings of mantle rose from the earth, pushing the sandstone layers on the bottom of the lakes upward. The process created many vertical cracks. The cracks were carved deeper by rainwater erosion, shaping the tabletop mountains into what we see today.
traces of sandstone layers that have resisted erosion remain deep under the ground of Roraima, one of the tabletop mountains. To find these traces, we'll go deep into a rock crevice. With the support of a single rope, we descend to a depth of 30 meters. Inside, the crevice is covered by dense moss that's like a carpet of green velvet. This is the bottom of the crevice. We head further into the cave. The deeper we go, the narrower it gets. Suddenly, we find ourselves in a wide space like a hall. We can hear the sound of flowing water. The cavern is about 10 meters high. Here and there, water is dripping. We find what we came looking for. The pattern on this rock was made by lapping waves. These ripple marks are evidence that this earth layer was once on the bottom of a lake. we head deeper into the cave. Water is flowing into a pond. It looks like an underground palace. In the round basin, gouged by drops of water, are shiny stones. They are crystals. Sandstone components have melted in high temperatures and crystallized. This indicates that the area has been exposed to the extreme heat of the Earth's mantle. The Guiana Highlands one of the Earth's unique monuments, created over hundreds of millions of years. <laughs> 